<laughs> so, what I, else have you been up to? I've also um, been watching a show on Netflix. Uh, long-time listeners will probably remember, probably about this time last year, I reviewed Atypical Season 1. Mm-hmm. Fantastic show. Amazing show. Um, anyone that knows me will know I have uh, what I like to call a guilt-free three list. Yeah, you like to call it that, but the name is a lie. There's more than three on it, of course. Yeah. Because, you know... Because Liam hasn't, hasn't got the basic understanding of maths that most people do. It's not that. It's just there's so many beautiful people in the world. Why would you limit it to just three? Um, well, I wish you wouldn't just sexually idolise people, Liam. I wish you could start your conversation about Atypical Season 2 without being like, this character or the actor, actress that plays her is on my Guilt 3 free list. Oh, but she's, she's so hot. It, it's not even that, though. Right? And this is what I'm getting, getting into, right? I don't know if I'm in love with the actress or the character. So there's an actress in it called Bridget Lundy Payne who is just fantastic. But she just plays this amazing character. Okay. And I don't know if it's the actress or the character that I am totally in love with. So for anyone that's not aware, Atypical is um, about a guy named Sam who is autistic. And the first season is about him trying to kind of n- negotiate like the dating waters. He decides yeah. he wants a girlfriend, but you know the problems with him, kind of that he faces, because he doesn't really understand like relationships that well. Yeah. Um, and sort of he's not very good with like metaphors and things like that. He likes rules and lists and people to say what they're thinking instead of double meanings and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, the second season just carries straight on. So the character that I'm in love with plays his sister, and she's like a bit of a dick to him, but also just co- like completely has his back. Um, if anyone else is a dick to him, we'll just fight back instantly. She's fantastic. Um, it's also got Michael Rappaport, who you will definitely have seen in something. I don't know what, but okay. I know you don't know and his people. Yep. He plays the dad. He's really good. And you've got Jennifer Jason Lee, who plays the mum, who I think we've discussed this in the past. I don't know if we've discussed it on the podcast, but we've definitely had this discussion. American, specifically, TV shows seem to really struggle right in female like matriarchal roles yeah well. they have a yeah we have had the discussion you don't like and i agree when the mum is just like an obstacle yeah yeah this does kind of fall into that category did it do it in season one or is it yeah I, okay yeah and it's, it's my only one like criticism because jennifer jason Lee plays the character well but the character is unlikable and I feel like it's deliberately written that way, but it's just, I don't know. She, yeah. she's, she's, she, she does something in season one, and in season two she's trying to make up for it, but the way she's doing it is just, I don't know, it's, it's not fun to watch. Okay. Um, but the rest of the show is amazing. Um, so if anyone hasn't seen Atypical, it's got that like coming of age, high school set stuff that I like. Uh, it's a male lead, so I'm fine with that, I guess. Yeah. Um, 4.5 out of 5 it's a really good show fair enough I would recommend it to you Ellie I think you'd it's like it more list. than Everything Sucks yeah which I'm struggling with yeah and by that I mean I watched half of it and haven't watched the rest I think you've literally got like two episodes left Ugh. anyway <laughs> yeah 